Switch. Angelo Monte Castro, the rookie, will bring it in. Now the five for St. Benil, Robles, Archie David, Chris Cabatu, Martin Ura, and Angelo Monte Castro, the same five for St. Benil when they started this game. Also for San Beda, the five for San Beda, it's Al Jamal, Ekwe, Escobal, Menor, and Borgi Armida. So same starting fives here to start the second half for both the squads. Ura being hounded by Menor. They go down low to Kabatu. Kabatu will dish it out. Robles wide open. But that's a good shot from uh, Chris Lo Robles. But he's got to make those uh, those shots. Para gumadang uh, chances nitong, uh, nitong CSB. It was a good pass by uh, by Chris Kabatu. He wants to challenge the the defense of uh, Sam Ekwe, and that's a good thing to do. Para dito sa Saint Benil. Now Hermida looking for some teammates. Escobal they go and they will post up Ogi Menor against the defense of Ura. You can't say that Ura didn't defend him well because he did, but Menor, the strength of Ogi Menor pounding it in. 37-29 and it's now an eight point lead as Ura drives it in. Let's have lead back to six. And I think that's just the first two points of uh, Martin Ura in this game. One good thing, you know, na bawi ang shanung ni Martin Ura. While you see Yusef Ajamal with his usual jumpers, he's got quiet ten points. Hindi ko na pansin kalo ka mga four points palang itong si Yusef Ajamal. That's the thing about San Ben. A lot of people can contribute in terms of scoring for them. Monte Castro, the dish at last second to Kabatu. Kabatu missing another jumper, and now Ekwe has twelve rebounds. Al Jamal, his favorite spot, no. And again, slow down the, the tempo of the game. Slow it down. Yung nandama yan, no? Yung ito, nakababa na itong Sambeda, ikot na lang limbo lang. You have to like the maturity of Monte Castro, although a rookie, still following instructions and slowing things down. As we go to Bea Atenza, I listen in to what Coach Caloy Garcia told his boys. Bea. Well, Coach Kaloy expressed his hunger for today's win and made sure that everybody was on board and feels the same way. He expressed that, he emphasized the fact that every point counts. We cannot afford to throw away those easy two points. Those easy baskets will give you the confidence you need. Also, there is a must to take care of the ball. Coach also said that, wag nating baliwali in to. If we win today, we have a chance. We fight, walang tatamad tamad. Let's forget blaming each other. We have to be mature and look ahead to the next quarters. We're still in the game. Let's stay in the game and play as a team. Andre? Thank you very much, Bea. That was your Samsung courtside update. With Samsung, it's not that hard to imagine. So still, Coach Caloy Garcia being optimistic that he is and telling his boys to not give away. Although they, they might be down here in this game so far. Eight-point lead by San Beda over St. Benil. But St. Benil still trying to be hopeful enough to win this game and take it one game at a time. Well, that's one good thing about the positive energy and the positive attitude that's being shown right here by uh, the coaching staff, especially of Coach by Coach Cole Garcia. Pero yun nga, yung, uh, st sticking to the game plan is another thing. So ito, medyo mataas na naman ang uh, score dito. Buti na lang, uh, nagmimintes itong uh, San Beda dito sa kanilang mga free throws. But then again, masyado maraming free throws no? na ibibigay dito sa kupuna ng, ng San Beda, Andre. That's true, but Escobal splits his charities. All his points coming from the free throw line. He has a total of four. It's a nine-point lead for the Red Lions under eight minutes to play here in the third quarter. Monte Castro swing it over to Ura. Ura thought about the double pump that time. The jumper missing that time for Martin Ura. Ekwe, another rebound for Big Sam. Now Menor. Oh, Ogi Menor found a hole down low to put it up. The St. Benil Blazers. 42-31. There is Sam Ekwe. And the rookie Angelo Monte Castro for St. Benil. Seven minutes and 19 seconds to play here in the third. Ura. There again, your presence to si Sam Ekwe <laughs> Allen will just make you change your shot every single time. There is Garbo Lanete making his presence felt. His first points in this game, only a two-pointer for Lanete. 
Tama lahat ng uh, ginagawa ang extra passes itong uh, itong Rally of Sentinel. Uh, but then again, yung uh, pag nakita mo talaga yung presence ito sa Sam Ekwe. And that's not just the first or second time that we've seen that. They're really forced to take uh, a four shot kapag nakita na nila sa harap nila itong si uh, Big Sam Ekwe. San Beda able to force that turnover over St. Benil. 44-31, Al Jamal gets the bounce. Lucky shooters bounce for Yusuf Al Jamal. A quiet 12 points for King Red Lion. And it's a big 15 point lead now para dito sa San Beda Red Lions. That's an offensive rebound by uh, Martin Ura. But losing the ball over so the ball will go back to San Beda. Speaking of which, let's go over to Pia Boren and listen in to what uh, Coach Frankie Lim told this boys. Pia. Yes, Andre, their sluggish reactions in the first half is what made them struggle. So the second half, they will have to work hard and be more aggressive. Coach was very implicit about that in the dugout. Don't wait for them to make mistakes, force them into making bad decisions, he said. Dapat hindi sila maka-execute maganda. So they will have to work out hard at hassling them and keep looking for ways to run. Because when we run, we score. Back to you, Andre. Thank you very much, Bia. That was your Samsung courtside update with Samsung. It's not that hard to imagine. No Monte Castro over to Robles. Again, St. Benil will have to stop the bleeding to avoid San Beda pulling away in this game. Ura, the kick out. Layub, three, short. Another three taken for Lenete, but no overshoots that time, but an offensive board for the Red Lions, Ekwe. Ekwe. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very different Ekwe that we've seen in this game, Alan. He's, he's playing very relaxed and uh, trying to experiment on, on certain things I think that he, uh, he can do in a basketball game. He's just having a great time in this game. We don't normally see Sam Ekwe do this Ogi Minor-like shot, reversing and getting the foul. Usually it's Ogi Minor that we see doing those kinds of shots. But Sam Ekwe, we've seen him earlier in the first half, bring the ball down and then, you know, take it from one court to the other and then try to go for the block in the defensive end. And now Ekwe at the line, total of nine points, 14 rebounds. Look at those numbers, but <laughs> way short from the free throw line. But, you know, the ang uh, sinasabi natin if you're on top by, uh, by 15 points. Some things can uh, be experimented upon and uh, that was uh, what Sam Ekwe did in uh, breaking down the defense of uh, CSB via the, the baseline. Now Sevilla against Menor. He saw Ekwe was there, so he will travel. So another turnover for the Blazers. And Ekwe just doing it all for San Beda. Offensively, defensively. Just scaring his opponents. Foul will be called on Chris Robles. Second personal foul, fourth team foul. So 14 fouls already being given by the by the Blazers in this quarter alone. Only one from the Red Lions here in this third quarter. Menor, the jumper. No, a bow for the loose ball. And look who gets it. Rookie Garbo Lanete. I think it's going to be a foul. It's a Chris Robles again with a yeah, foul. Oh, it's Chris Robles, you know. And again, with uh, still five minutes and eight seconds, CSB is already in penalty. And a lot of free throws really coming uh, San Beda's way here in the third quarter. In this game, St. Benil has already given 20 team fouls. 20 team fouls already being committed by St. Benil as compared to only San Beda committing seven. So you can see that because of the fouls that being 